Welcome back. This is Dogren with another Is It Is Toot. What we'll be doing today is checking out standard armor against uh, the protection against standard arrow. And we'll be going down from, we'll cover no armor, leather, iron, diamond, chainmail, even though you can't even craft it, butter armor, and that's it. I will do, I'll do leather and then I'll speed through this for you so you don't have to see the same thing over and over again and then I'll do butter armor at the regular speed. What I'm going to use as a counter or a, uh, to show you what is going on will be let's see I'm still on oh I gotta change that but that's okay it works out really good for this that's a half a heart so that would be a heart and a half damage that was incurred by a regular arrow with no armor and that'll be the way it's done all the way down it'll be on the left hand the left hand side will be uh, what, what the uh, armor how much the armor protected against the arrow let me switch back to regular game mode where I like to be and we'll begin I have the armor back here for us to try on and some food so I can stay up to full health so everything's the same every time. So we'll do this first. And this is obviously no armor. That was one and a half hearts. Step forward and I'll wait until it's healed and then step back in again. Okay, that's one and a half. We'll do them three times unless we get difference and then we'll do it five. If we get different results, we'll do a few more. Okay, regular arrow, no armor, consistently one and a half hearts. And then we have helmet and boots. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, I'll, I'll bring them all over here and, and I'll just put them on as needed. Okay, let me chow up a little bit here. Yeah, you may seem it may seem kind of funny for you, funny for you, funny to you that I would go through all this trouble. Uh, Minecraft's been around a long time. There are wiki articles, there are graphs and matrices and spreadsheets and all sorts of stuff to show you the relative uh, protective values of armor. But I uh, I learned visually. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do this for people that actually want to see it in action. So that the kind of, you know, locks itself into their brain. So so here we are. We're, what I'm wearing is the same as uh, this this guy right here, this wooden guy is wearing. So, okay, that's one. And one and a half going to do five of these. One and a half. Interesting. One and a half. Let me make sure I'm all chowed down. Okay. Not that they should make a difference, but one. One and a half. I'm going to have to go with one and a half. That was consistent except for a few times, so. Wow. Those two pieces aren't a whole lot better than nothing at all. Okay, let's put these on, see if we get a difference. A D for ants. Net yeah, full. And here we go. If I can back up correctly. Okay, there's one. Oh, I didn't pull far enough. One. And I think we're going to end up with 
one heart damage only on uh, the two major ones. Major, I mean, because one has seven and one has seven, eight, nine, something like that. I'll try to. Okay, and that's one. So we only have one heart of damage. And we're wearing that. Now we do for the full tilt boogie. And I think you'll find this kind of uh, interesting results. Uh, it wasn't what I was expected. I was practicing earlier and got the result and was kind of stymied. But this is full full leather. As I said, regular armor, no enchants. Regular arrow, no enchants on the bow. It's one. One. Oops. Oh, and one. That kind of surprised me. No difference between that and this. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot with the cap and the boot, so. Mm. Okay, anyhow, I will continue. I will do all of these and have their the resulting values to the left of the statue. And then when we get to the butter armor, I will get back with you. So I'll be right back.
All right, here we are at the near the end, and we're doing the the butter armor, aka gold armor. And we have some points off of these, but that's going to be that, that will not affect the test. And we'll go with uh, helmet and boots and hunger. Hang on. There's one. One and a half. One. This one and a half was not a fluke. So we'll give the value of one and a half to that, and then we'll try the other way around. One of my uh, viewers, Mr. Moon, suggested that I do an LP on Day Z. And I had hesitated to do it before because I felt like the market may have been saturated. But, you know, it sounds like a fun game, and I'm in this mostly for fun, so I'll probably end up doing that. I mean, it's like I'm playing just survival games, which is okay. But I need to branch out into other areas also. That's one half. Or that was, I think I healed really fast. I think that was actually a one. Let's try it again. Yeah, that was a one. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Little too big. Okay. Do that a one. And now for the full butter. That's the zombie and the skelly. You do not want to come up against his full bell, uh, full butter. Those are a pain in the hiney. And here we go. That was a half, and that was really fast, so it was probably below a half. Half. A hole. Okay, I gotta put a hole down because that was the worst, but that's still good. Alright, here's the results. And uh, let me change my game mode. So I give you a little overview. Be a little smoother. Let's start over here. Not too surprisingly, one and a half hearts per arrow hit when you have no armor on. Somewhat surprisingly, one and a half armor hits when you don't have when you just have uh, two of the leather. When you have the middle two, it's two armor hits. Or two, excuse me, I keep saying armor. It's two. It's a it's a one heart, two hits, a half a heart a hit. So I'll, let me go back over this. This is one and a half hearts, one and a half hearts, one heart of damage, with the um, shirt and pants. And with the full leather regalia, there was only one heart of damage. Okay, now we shift to iron, hat and boots, one and a half armor, or one and a half hearts of damage, uh, shirt and pants, one, ar one heart of damage. And the full regalia, only a half a heart per arrow hit. We switch to diamond, cap and boots, one heart. Shirt and pants, half a heart. Full regalia, nothing. All you see is a reduction in the in the value on the uh, armor. Actually, yeah, on the armor. Now let's go to chainmail. 
hat and boots, one heart, shirt and pants, one heart, <laughs> everything, one heart, wow, butter, hat and boots, cart and half, shirt and pants, one heart, full regalia butter, half a heart. So that was the results. You can see those results visually and it looks to me like you want to stay away from, I mean you want to move through leather as fast as possible and uh, get to iron even if it's the, even, even if it's only the two middle pieces right there you saved a half a heart right there and diamond is just well you know duh it's diamonds when you get those two you only take half a heart so when we have full regalia you don't take any but your armor does and ultimately you will get arm uh, damaged chainmail it's um heart 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 and butter is a heart and a half a heart and half a heart so that's it for the hearts that you lose in regular armor with a regular arrow and next time next uh, toot I'll be coming back with a enchanted armor actually I think I'll start with an enchanted bow and see how much more damage certain things do and then we'll do a combination there are so many possible combinations between enchanted bows and enchanted armor and fire and armor and falls and armor that I can't possibly do them all but uh, I'll do enough so that it makes sense to you and kind of gives you an idea which ones you should be picking so anyhow thanks for showing up and I'll see you next time this is Dahlgren out love you guys <laughs>